I now call on the Officer Association of Court of Appeals Employees, led by Marite Suleiman, the auditor of the group, to who is here together with the other officers of the organization. They are giving the chief a plan. Would you like to Good morning to all honorable chief justices. Uh, I thank you and everyone as a chief justice of the Supreme Court and co employees of the judiciary. In behalf of the Association of the Court of Appeals Employees, we would like to present this uh, special uh, special award of recognition to the Chief Justice today. Uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines, in sincere recognition and grateful appreciation of your significant effort and concern in the upliftment and promotion of the welfare of the workers in the judiciary in his capacity as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of the Philippines, serving as such with dedication, honesty, and integrity in the tradition of a true and faithful discipline of law and justice. With witness whereof, the officers and board of the directors of the Akali have here and to affix their signatures this sixth day of December in the year of our Lord 2006 and on the occasion of his retirement from the judiciary. Several officers of the base or the Philippine Association of Court Employees National Level Incorporated are here. This is Rose Amitola, the national president who comes all the way from Bohol. We have also Bebot Saludo, the executive secretary, and Sally Ceremonia, liaison officer, who comes all the way from Iloilo. We have attorney Jenny Buendia of the Office of the Clerk of Court, Manila RTC. Also, Leti Agbayani is here, Mene Rafael, the Vice President, and uh, we have other officers. May I call on Rose Amitola to present their plaque of appreciation to the Chief Justice. Good morning, sir. Good morning, everybody. Philippine Association of Court Employees, National Level Incorporated, hereby awards this plaque of recognition to Honorable Artemio Delia Senor Pangalipan, 21st Chief Justice of the Supreme Court for his exemplary achievements in public service both as the Chief Justice and as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. This organization recognizes the indispensable role of the Chief Justice Artemio Villasenor Pangaliban in applying the Equal Protection Clause enshrined in no less than 1987 Philippine Constitution by granting the maximum benefits allowable by law to all employees of the judiciary from the highest tribunal to the lowest level court. His twin policies of liberty and prosperity have been highlighted during the recently concluded Global Forum with the participation of delegates from 33 countries and led by the 12, 12 chief justices. He stands at the forefront of judicial reform, paving the way for a judiciary characterized by the four aims, integrity, independence, industry, and intelligence. He waged a battle against the acid and problems of the Philippine judiciary, limited access to justice by the poor, corruption, incompetence, and delay in the delivery of quality judgments. Recognition is thus made for his concern for the welfare of the courts, its employees, the public, and society at large. Even this fourth day of December, 2006, Supreme Court, City of Manila, Philippines, signed Rosita Delgado Amisola, National President, Jennifer S. de la Cruz Buendia, Advisor, Philippine Association of Court and Police. who will be assisted by Attorney Candelaria, Attorney Cora Flores, and Dong Montalvo. Uh, 
for the information of all, the praise committee gives uh, every retiring employee some tokens. So the Chief Justice will be receiving a certificate, a watch, and 20,000 pesos. The SC Praise is pleased and honored to present the Certificate of Recognition to Mr. Chief Justice Artemio B. Panganiba on the occasion of his retirement from the board for his luminous leadership of the judiciary that has secured for him a place in our country's history. For his recognition and appreciation of the contribution of board employees as manifested it is a strong commitment to their welfare and sensitivity to their needs and concerns. For his abiding faith, buoyant humanity, singular joie de vivre, that have helped him triumph over life's adversities. All of the foregoing evinces fidelity to his personal credo to love God, serve man. No tribute to him can be better than our devotion to duty honesty in every way, and loyalty to the court and the judiciary, and undertaking to live up to his ideals of ethics, excellence, and eternity in our service to the court and to our country. Given in the city of Manila, this fourth day of December, 2006, signed by the members of the SC Praise Committee, uh, namely, Attorney Eden Candelaria, Attorney Corazon F. Flores, Attorney Joel Emerson Gregorio, Attorney Rulin M. Garcia, Mr. Fernando M. Montalvo, Ms. Helen Grace D. Santos, Ms. Rosemary D. Labro, and the Secretary, Attorney Edwin D. Andrada. May we call on Attorney Eden P. Candelaria to present the plaque of recognition. Again, we congratulate the Chief Justice for a job exceedingly well. His tenure has been brief but very eventful and we would like to thank him for all the benefits he has given to all the employees and for the benefits that he will still give even if he's away. <laughs> Justice Tinga, can you please join us? Justice Tinga, please may I call on Miss Emily Robis to lead us in singing the national anthem and attorney Annalisa Su for the Panunumpa sa Watawa. Ilagay ang kan ng kamay sa kaliwang dibdib. Handa awit. Bayang magiliw, pebes ng sinangalan. Sa alam ng puso, sa lipid mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiging. Sa manlulupig, di ka pa sisigil. Sa dagat at pundok, sa simoy at sa langit mo. Ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal Ang kislap ng watawat mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa may di magdidilim Lupa ng nga
Itaas po natin ang ating kanang kamay para sa Panginoon. Ako ay Pilipino. Buong katapatan nanunumpa sa watawat ng Pilipinas na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan uh, na pinahihilos ng sambayanang makajos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa.
departure honors for our Chief Justice Artemio B. Pangaliban will be performed by our honor guards to be led by Mr. Danny Pablo and some military officers. This morning, the band from the Manila City Hall.
May it ask if justice to deliver a short message. Mga mahal kong nagsisilbe sa ating kulikatura, unang-una na ang mga kasama sa Korte Suprema, mga opisyal ng kulikatura, mga empleyado na mahal ko sila. Punong-punong -puno. ng galat ang aking puso ngayong umaga sa inyong pinakitang kabahitan at pagmamahal. Unang-una, hindi ako kalain na ang ating security ay hindi lamang pala pang Supreme Court, hindi lamang pang Philippine Military Academy, hindi lamang pang West Point, pang Buckingham Palace pa. Sige <laughs> ninyo, mga smart, mga guwapo, at gumagawa ng kanilang katungkulan. Nagpapasalamat din ako sa mga iba't ibang uh, asosasyon ng ating mga empleyado at sa kanilang pinakitang pagmamahal din at pagmamalasakit. Una sa ating pinakitang uh, yeah, pictorial, no? collage of pictures. Nakakatuwa po yun sapagkat pakikita ko sa ating mga ako at yun ay matatandaan nila ng kanilang Lolo pala yung ganun. Wala sila dito nung nangyari yun, nung nagpakikita ko yung picture at yung DVD. At para na rin siguro silang naroon. At kanina binabasa yung uh, plan of appreciation ang sabi ni Justice Morales. Aba, ang iyong parang middle name ay Villa Senior. Akala ko ba mahirap ka? May Villa ka na, may Senior ka pa. Sa pangalan lang po yun, Justice Morales. Sa pangalan man lang eh, yumaman. Ngunit ngayon, ah, nakikita ko ang masasaya ninyong mga mukha, eh mayaman na rin ako. May pilya na rin ako. <laughs> Hindi ko po makakalimutan ito. At yung ginawa ng Praise Committee. Hindi ko akalain nyo, magkakarilyo rin ako ng Timex. Eh. <laughs> para sa certificate din ako at uh, meron pa ako 20,000 ang sabi ng mga justices abay blow out po yan kasali kami dyan totoong totoo po yun sapagkat kasali sila talaga kung meron man akong nagawang mabuti para sa bayan at para sa inyo yan ay hindi mangyayari kung hindi dahil sa kanila na rin kaya parang pakatunan ngayon at hindi lang Chief Justice ang gumawa kung hindi ang buong Korte Suprema, ang lahat ng mga opisyales, hindi lang ng Korte Suprema, but ng buong Udikatura, ang lahat ng nagtatrabaho at nagmamalasakit para sa ating Udikatura at Bayan. Tanakpakan natin ang ating sarili. You know, it is said that no prophet is honored in his or her own hometown. Sinabi po yun ang ating mahal na Panginoon. Ngunit ang pakiramdam ko ngayon ay iba. Sapagkat ang pinakamalaki pong parangal ng matatanggap ng isang tao ay hindi sa parangal ng mga iba na nasa labas. Hindi yung parangal ng mga nasa ibang bansa o nasa ibang bayan, nasa ibang pang. Uh, lugar din sa ating bayan. Totoo na mas sarap pakinggan yung kanilang mga sinasabi. Totoo na mas sarap tanggapin ang kanilang mga parangal. Ngunit, ang pinaka-importante at pinaka-nakalulundang puso na parangal ay yung mga nanggagaling sa pamilya, sa kamag-anak, sa, at sa mga kasama sa pagkatrabaho. Nakagaya din yung lahat. Palakpakan natin ang ating sarili. Kaya po yan sapagkat uh, kayo nakakalam kung ano talaga maaaring ako'y pumeke 
at pagpikita ng magandang mukha at pakita, pagpakita ng magandang record sa iba. Sapagkat di nila nalalaman kung ano ang ginagawa at ano ang iniisip ng isang tao. Ngunit sa mga malalapit sa kanya, kagaya ninyong lahat, eh, walang may ililihim. Alam ninyong lahat. Kaya po ako, sabi ko nga, salamat sa inyo at uh, hindi niyo tinignan yung aking mga pagkukulang at tinignan niyo lamang ang aking maaring nagawa at pinagpunoan niyo na yung mga pagkukulang ko. So, I'm deeply touched by your ceremony today, by your good words, by your efforts. I see in your faces genuine smiles. I hope that I have been able to retrieve my promise to all of you when I first, first spoke here on January, was it January 2nd, Monday? January 2nd, but my first uh, speech before you as Chief Justice. And on that occasion, although I was still suffering from the pains, post-operative pains of uh, my surgery at the Manila Doctors Hospital on December 30, three days before, hindi ko pinahalata sa inyo, pero pinapawisan ako noon sa, sa sakit. Ngunit nagpakita ko ng maganda at matapang na mukha at pag, pagsabi sa inyo. Ang sabi ko, maximum benefits to all employees ang aking policy. And I hope I have been able to review that promise. Buta lang pa ninyo, mukha nagahanap pa. Ibiligay ko na lahat. Diba? Hindi lamang sa court, Supreme Court, hindi lamang sa mga appellate courts, kung hindi sa lahat ng mga impyado ng ubikatura sa buong bansa. Sa lahat sa inyo, maraming maraming salamat po.
officials and employees of the Supreme Court, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today we shall launch the photo exhibit of the light and times of our time of the Maniban, the once and always chief. This photo exhibit is uh, prepared by the Committee on Knowledge Sharing through the efforts of uh, Mr. Justice uh, Adolfo Isaskuna, Ms. Evelyn Tuleta Tumtum of the Program Management Office, and Ms. Milagros S. Tom of the Library Services. To give us uh, welcome, the welcome remarks, uh, please welcome Mr. Justice Adolfo Isaskuna. Ito mga exhibit, 
hindi naman yung subject ang inaalaan, kundi yung painter, hindi ba? Yung sculptor. Eh dito, yung photographer ang inaalaan. Kaya palakpakan natin si Justin Tabor. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo na. Thank you very much, Justice Kanye Ban. We now proceed to the formal ribbon cutting to be led by maybe Jim Bai. Ila. World premiere.
Pasko.